If you're a fan of maximalism, dark academia, maybe steampunk, or anything around that really interesting and more moody style, today's video is for you. One of the first and probably most straightforward items is dark colors. Now, a lot of people assume with a moody decor that we have to do black. We don't necessarily have to do black, but we do want to think about hues that are on that deep, rich, and luxurious color palette. So we want to think of dark colors like black, of course, but also deep blues, rich purples, those deep greens. Even sometimes when you get into stuff like very bold teals or deep reds, all of those type of colors will help give you that moody feeling. So you want to think about this when you're maybe painting the space or even adding in some of the furniture and decor if you really want to commit to a moody interior. So the next tip that we have is adding texture into your space. It's super important when you're thinking of a moody decor space that it's really tactile. It really does help give it the correct ambiance when you're going for a moody interior. So you want to think about incorporating things like different textures, things like velvet, bofers or suede, which can really add a lot of depth into your space. Also think about adding this through items like throw pillows, curtains, or even a cozy rug. Think about creating a statement wall in your space. I love a good statement wall. I feel like this is a maximalist. So what I love about a statement wall is that it can really add that dramatic effect to your space. So consider potentially using wallpaper, something with a bold pattern or a texture. You can even use that dark paint color to create an accent wall, but you can also bring in some natural elements. So perhaps you have a really beautifully painted space. You could bring in some wood detail, maybe some slat wall detail, or perhaps bringing something in like a built-in with books, you know, kind of that dark academia space or even a really beautiful art wall that has lots of different frames, styles, and pictures. And with that, I would definitely think about doing something with a very traditional style frame, maybe a bunch of different styles in there to really create that moody depth to the space. So you wanna think about warm and dim lighting to create that cozy and intimate atmosphere with a moody space. You might wanna consider using things like table lamps, floor lamps, and even string lights to create that soft glow. If you're comfortable, you can bring in candles. I personally use faux candles, also add in a really nice ambiance. Also think of wall sconces. I always feel like those look really great in a moody decor as well. So something else that we can really add into our space that's going to help it feel moody and calm and inviting is natural elements. So some of those natural elements that you might want to think about, I've mentioned briefly, but like wood tones and wood features into your space. You could think about the wood as an axle wall I've already mentioned. Thinking about stone or plants, which can really help create that calming effect and add some more layering to the space. But also think about stuff like a fireplace. If you don't already have one, that could be something that you might be considering, even if it's electric or gas or, you know, even if you just add in a beautiful fireplace mantle and you don't actually have a fireplace and then you can do that candle setting kind of in it you could create the vibe of a fireplace without actually buying one which is a great little kind of trick that you can do if you want that look i feel like with a moody space there's something about the grounding to it and that's where the natural elements really come in i feel like using those natural elements helps your moody space feel a lot more on the warmer side versus kind of the cool and maybe not as friendly side. And we want it to feel warm and inviting. So I've mentioned accent walls and I've mentioned frames and this one goes with kind of all of that. And that is using metallic accents. So when you're thinking about your moody space, something that really helps give it like an extra depth and an extra vibe is adding accents like copper, brass, and gold. It really gives a luxurious feeling to your space. This is great if you're gonna do an art wall because you can bring in some of those metallics. Also, if you're thinking about some of your wallpapers, you could use some of those accent tones in that wallpaper. I've seen some beautiful wallpapers that are a black with a gold you know, detail on it. It looks absolutely stunning. Also throughout your accents, I feel like when you're thinking of bringing in some of these metallics, it's one of those less is more when you're doing a moody space. So thinking about bringing in through candelabras or little accents throughout your space really help give it that little sparkle and adds again to that layering effect and just gives a little bit of that shine that we need 
to really just make that moody space feel amazing.